personal favourite survival house or just a house in general. So to make it whatever size you want in your opinion, I just wanted to make it a big one since this is the biggest one I've ever done. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is just do a simple layout. So you know how big it's going to be. It's not going to be just this big, trust me, there's going to be a farm, enough area to store everything without having to make an extension, depending on what size you have. Um, so yeah, you want to make it so one side is bigger than the other, so I'm going to make this side over here my farm. And then you want to just do a big line to make it a full square or rectangle size you're doing for. I have built, this is my fourth one building so I'm pretty decent at building these. It might take long to build this one so maybe two parts. Um, so it'll end up something like this maybe in a smaller size I'm not too sure depending obviously what you're doing for like I've said. Um, so I did about 30 by 10 um, in case you guys want to do the same one as me. So this bit's going to be our farm, so let's start doing it with the farm first. Let's do our staircase. So, depending on how big your thing is, I am... I know it's really big, but I'm going to do for a three stair. Maybe a four stair. Yeah, four stairs. Personally, I'd do it about four to five high, um, just so then you have a decent amount of room to decorate the downstairs. Since I am going to be doing the downstairs as a <coughs> bedroom and a farm, like I've said over there. So let's just quickly do the stairs over here. Obviously, you can do whatever height and whatever stair width you want, but I'm just doing it for this because I personally a bit more when it's bigger um, like the bigger building I like to make the stairs fit in okay so I've done that leave that for later uh, this is going to be a two part so this part I'm just going to do the outline that bit over there and the farm and then maybe next part I will do the rest of the house and then part three I will be doing the interior and decorating it so you don't want to get some farmland and some just building out of. And then your favourite looking door. You can be whatever door you want. Um, I'm going to put my entrance over here. You want to do a one width path. But in my case I'm going to do a three width. Just because this is going to be a bigger area to build of on. So I can have a bigger path. So just put your path in a direction and then make it go make it go into the stairs but not fully. So this is where it looks real nice. So then once you've done that, pause the video and fill it in. I'm just gonna quickly fill it in real time so you guys don't have to worry about pausing. Obviously, depending how big you have your area for your farm, which is what I'm doing, um, depending how big you want your path. As you can see, I have like three set, well, two sections, a pretty big section, then an L set, L shaped section. So it's not too bad. And then obviously you can either do it with a hoe or you can use the farmland blocking creative. I'm gonna do it with a hoe, and also you're gonna get some water at the same time. Uh, I recommend doing blocks of water for the sake of the farmland, doing a pattern, or maybe doing a full body mixtures. I like to do mixtures um, just because it adds more texture, so I think it looks better. Obviously, make sure it's in a pan suitable for your um, land and for it to look nice anyway. So this is a detailed home, detailed but well, weird looking. I would personally say, but detailed and nice. Why am I building this in a flat wood? I'm not sure. I'm still doing all my tutorials in here. 
and then maybe I'll take it into a real world and obviously in Minecraft and then build it. I have built this on my friend's world and my other world twice, so I'm pretty used to doing this, so um, and then over here where the path ends you just want to fill it in and one behind a few up. So then you can do your entrance. I personally like to do the glass. I'm just doing some more light. Light grey glass. And do that. So I have a entrance of two blocks, but it's one block and two halves. So it's good enough for me to walk in and out. And then you want to do your door. I personally like it like this. Adds a little bit of detail. And then you want to do over the door with your chosen material of building. Like I said, well, I've never said this yet, but you can do your um, thing of whatever. But personally, in my opinion, it looks really clean in stone, especially with a great glass. Okay, I'm just going to do this bit in this video because it might be a bit hard to do it in a normal video. Okay, so just want to quickly put things underneath your thing, get my bobbies, your stairs, like there, so we've all got a block underneath, and then you are, oops, wanting to do that and then place a block at the side, and then do a glass of your choice depending on what matches with your build. Um, yeah, it looks really nice depends when it's smaller, but you can also just do a, another stairway if you want, or maybe a bit of stone at the end so it looks like it's connecting. Do it whatever you want, but personally, I like to do a big area of glass. Um, obviously, you could always change this around and make this is a smaller area and put a fan underneath here since that is light coming in and make this a bedroom since it is a pretty big bedroom I have to admit they are both about the same size ones just a little bit bigger okay 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 let's get back to what we were doing so you don't actually want your tick speed to be as low as possible for this just so then it doesn't do back to dirt So it's going to take a real long time for this to come back to do it. So I've got a bunch of time to fill this in and seize on. And then you can always change the speed back to what it was before after you put the seeds on, which is really useful. Obviously, you can pause the video and just skip a little bit if you don't know what you can see to them. What you do, it's fine. It's up to you. Okay. Um. So yeah. Once you fill the season, whatever choice you want. Personally, do beetroot, carrots, or potatoes, or something that doesn't take up more than one block, especially pumpkins or melons, and maybe make a separate farm just for them. Um, it might interfere with what it looks like and look a bit weird. So that's one big area done. You might obviously want to change the pattern just to something basic like a big stream of water. But that is all up to you. Like I said earlier, there are some different parts of this build so it might look a bit different. Yeah, while I do this, I'm half mind of you and they guys have just uh, do this.
Okay, so I filled this in. Next thing I'm going to do is the wall design. Pretty basic, just gonna put a block on the corner to mean apart from through the door entrance. Okay, yeah, so basically it's just a basic one, you know, you put your glass panes in between. So, uh, I'm gonna end this video here. And so you guys have some chance to build it and finish it off in your own way. So make sure next video you guys are still at this area where you've just finished the walls, which I will do maybe next video or maybe off camera. So yeah, bye. <laughs>